I mean, speaking of income streams, speaking of um, industry, the the music industry has uh, an, a reputation for being quite shrewd at times, and it, it really is the balance of art and commerce. How did this sort of battlefield mentality help you navigate the industry? Well, let me let me give you the history of this, right? So this is not a very uh, known understanding of the, the, the arts industry, right? Let's just, let's just look at all the arts, right? So specifically starting with like painting and, 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 and music. So, so pieces of music, when it became a commodity, essentially when, it was, when there was a revenue um, mechanism or system built into it. So, so we look at what propagated the distribution of art, right? Church and the monarch, right? Kings, queens would pay for art, commission artists, and so with the church, right? So over time, the church and the monarch as, as uh, contractors of, of artistry and, and artists evolved into private capital. And this happened in around the, the, the late 19th century. So, not, so like um, an early, uh, like 1920s when it's formalized around and after um, in the middle of World War II was formalized but it was then evolved into a, a capitalist market space right so so private capital came in replaced metaphorically the the church and the monarch as propagators and and, and purveyors and contractors of artists right so specifically then us narrow in into the uh, music industry so so the commodity was specifically sheet music then in the 20s right we have this trans transition 20s to 40s transition to a record a recorded medium and then all the change in the, the, the mechanics, uh, um, the revenue stream, the business modeling, all that change was the distribution, right? Cap private capital still controlled the ownership of these commodities, sheet music, recorded music. So you push forward to like, you can, the distribution mechanism evolved, right? But the, the I should say the distribution mechanics evolved, right? So. CD recorder, a tape recorder, like to now streaming, but the ownership hasn't, right? Although the ownership now is is monopol, I wouldn't say monopolized is a strong word, but it's 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 heavily derivative of um, corporate interest, right? Uh, shareholder value, so it's kind of technically publicly public traded, but 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 it's um it's still in a sense capitalism, and what well, it is is capitalism in a very sense, but but so what that has lent itself into is the, the understanding of the value of art hasn't changed. I think that's the key, as opposed to thinking of, 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 of uh, so I, I see this myopic way. We, we keep going back to the, the asymmetries of economics in our industry, basically how musicians are getting effed, right? Yes, yes, I, I, I agree with that. I, I agree that the asymmetries are 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 very very uh, tilted towards private capital, like a hundred percent or public capital at this point. But I think the real opportunity lays into rethinking the value proposition of what art is. You see, this is where I, I'm working. This is where I now have caught up to to what I do. So mm -hmm. I, I I teach world leaders, global leaders, creativity as a skill and intuition and instinct as a skill that you can develop. Why? Well, the reality is AI is going to catch, machine learning has, is catching up. We're having multiple singularity points of machine learning, right? In which it's becoming very prolific, one at narrow problem solving, narrow, narrow, narrow solutions, narrow intelligence. At creative intelligence, it can become pretty prolific, right? We can measure that by how much you feel the output, right? In other words, limbic engagement of the output. Oh, I'm starting to feel something, it's becoming, semi-conscious, right? Creative. And then, so we are hitting those singularity points and the ultimate singular, singularity point in machine learning, arguably, is consciousness. We still can't define it. So what I think the future of our industry is shaping up to be is I'm pushing for thought leadership from the creative class. So I'm building an institute for this now. It's called the Garibay Institute. I take musicians and we go and, and show the leadership communities around the world, you know, World Economic Forum, uh, um, private leadership groups around the world that most people haven't heard of. And we educate them on what the value of musicians really is. Like, and not, it's not just making and putting content on these platforms, 
right? But it, there's a higher value proposition here. We can teach people how to unlock feelings. We can teach people how to, 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 okay. I start with this, when I give lectures and talks about, you know, how esoteric what I do is, and I simplify it this way. We can take two years and do uh, cognitive behavioral therapy to get to the entry point of unlocking our inner selves, con subconscious and unconscious, right? If you're a union theorist, we can do two years of med transcendental meditation to get to the entry point of unlocking our subconscious and unconscious. Take two minutes and 20 seconds of a pop song and you're crying. Mm -hmm. You're seven years old again, right? Mm -hmm. So that's key and that's something we should pay attention to. As we're now um, aligning ourselves with, again, machine learning and how to use it effectively, we're looking at what the future of non-generative thinking is, which is how, you know, arguably one of the protocols for machine learning. So, so that's what we're doing. I think that you as a musician have way more to offer the world than just content. So when I'm looking at asymmetries, this question, I'm like, hmm, let's rethink that. Let's, re let's ask another question. That's why that's how I spend my time uh, hmm. these days is I make hit records and I teach world leaders the value of this unique called su su sui gener uh, generous in Latin, right? Like unique thinking. 